course, as the weather gets colder, a triad based nonprofit is doing their best to make sure that children in our community are cozy and warm. Uh, Spark is hosting their cozy bundle event this Saturday in Winston Salem. They're going to pass out pajamas, blankets and more for families in need. They're still encouraging those who can to donate items ahead of Saturday's event and also encouraging those to volunteer. So to tell us more about the event as well as the mission, we have Amber Harris, the executive director of Spark. Great to see you again, Amber. Good morning. Hey, oh, good to see you. So tell us about Spark. Please explain the mission, kind of your vision for the organization, and then let's get into the Cozy Bundle event. Sure, thank you. So Spark is a local nonprofit that partners with other local organizations, neighborhoods, communities. We like to say that we're in the nooks and crannies. Uh, we mobilize groups of people. So that could be teams, small businesses, um, just any group of folks, 10 to 100 people at a time. We will be creative and design a service opportunity that kind of works on the ground that impact those larger causes that we're working on. So that leads us to this Saturday's event, the Cozy Bundle event. So how does that work and how does it work for families in need? Sure. So three years ago, we were we were partnering with a local organization, a bed and a book, and we were building beds with them, uh, with groups. And then a lot of times we were delivering those beds as well. And every single time we would deliver beds and the bedding and a book, uh, usually an older sibling would say, do you have pajamas too? And we didn't. And so we partnered for a couple years on how do we figure this out? And that first year we threw together in six weeks an event that we served just under 200 children. Every child, newborn to 18 years old, gets a pair of pajamas, a blanket, and a book. And then last year, we added in a meal for all family members. We are lucky to have sock sponsors. The community coat closet is also there, giving warm wear to all family members, so not just children. And then we have Santa. And then if you take the bus there, or you walk on foot there, we will give you a bus pass home. Uh, every child gets a tote to make that bus ride and that walk a little bit easier. Wow, I love to hear how you've grown, you know, to see the need and then know how to fill it to help so many people. Amber, tell us what items you're in need the most of for Saturday's event and then how can people provide them? Absolutely. So this year we anticipate serving 400 children and this is a non registry event, meaning that we want to make this really accessible. You do not need to sign up. So we go into our event uh, collecting year round, but right now we still have a, a few things that we really need. Um, I'm looking around in kind of our area right now and we still need about 150 blankets. We like to go in with a little bit more blankets just so we can meet a need if a family really has that. So 150 more blankets. Um, there's some really great deals out there that you can get um, 50 by 60 dimension blankets, which will serve a lot of kids. Um, and then we also need girls and boys sizes six and boys size 2T. So uh, those, those would be great. Those blankets especially, we're really lucky to have books uh, every day uh, come in. We have three spots that you can donate to and drop off. So one of those is right off of Silas Creek on Burkhead United Methodist Church. In the roundabout entrance, there's a wooden bin that stays out there year or all year long for different things, but all hours. So if you're on your way to work at 5 a.m. and want to drop them off, if you're on your way back from work at 10 p.m., you can drop them off. The other place is Be Kind Coffee. So if you live kind of in the Clemens area, they have a giving tree and you can easily just walk in there, grab that cup of coffee and drop off your items there. And then also Augsburg Community Center right on Broad Street in downtown. There is a bin is there there as well. So we are we're really excited. But again, because it's a non registry event, we we have to go in uh, really ready uh, to mm -hmm. see those kids. However, many come through at different ages uh, when they walk in. Amber, I love how well thought out this mm -hmm. is. You seemingly have thought of everything just to, just to help <laughs> some different people in your community and what their different needs are. But we also identify the fact that you also need volunteers to help this go. What kind of roles do you need them to fill and how do, how do they sign up? Sure, so we have 
we have kind of the obvious, right? There's a pajama station, blanket station, book station, socks. Um, the community coat closet will have its kind of own space too. And so we need some folks helping as, um, as people come in there. Um, and then we have folks serving a meal and then also Santa's helpers. We also need folks who are just willing um, to kind of direct traffic. We partner with Catholic Charities and New Light Missionary Baptist Church, which are just divided by a street. Um, so you just kind of walk back and forth. Catholic Charities has the shopping experience. New Light Missionary Baptist has the meal and Santa. So folks who are just willing to build a relationship and talk to people, tell people they're in the right spot, uh, that is really great too. We also have Spanish interpreters on site. So if that's something you're really passionate about and want to be help, helpful in that kind of communication way, we will gladly, uh, we will just welcome you with open arms too. So you can go to our website, which is spark-community.org. And there's actually a pop-up that pops up right away when you go to our website with a link uh, to find out our shifts for service and how you can, how you can sign up. You've made it very easy for us. Thank you, Amber, and thank you for what you do in our community. We appreciate your time this morning. Here's that information on the screen again for our viewers. The Cozy Bundle event is this Saturday in Winston-Salem. Families in need can come on out to the Catholic Charities location located on 14th Street beginning at 10 a.m. This event will go until 1230 that day. If you would like to donate those items, as you heard Amber mention, they're kind of all across our area, you can still drop them them off ahead of Saturday at the Burkhead UMC. Specifically, that location is on Silas Creek Parkway. And then the website you see on your screen to visit to follow along for more information, that being spark-community.org.